Run, dickhead! <laughs> Something is fucking... You would be legging it. You would not be walking around at this leisurely pace. Water purification plant with field notes from Warrant Officer Knight. Oof. Distributor cap can get crushed. What's that one called? Plain sailing. <laughs> Isn't that the boat we came on? No way. There's no way. That's not possible. Uh. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Operations order. Internal use only. Man overboard ordered full stop and anchor. At 0128, I received reports of a man overboard. Ensure that all units under your command are notified and prepared to assist in the search and recovery of the casualty. This was no accident. I saw him jump. <laughs> Internal Memorandum To all officers, Captain Ford has ordered that the consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officer found drunk while on or off duty will face court martial. Marshal, your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. <laughs> this war is over, this is bullshit. Uh, did I miss a door or was that it? That was that was that one, right? Yeah. It's fucking with me, man. It just it's just fucking with me. That's it. I gotta find everybody. Whatever this is, it's just it's just fucking with me, okay? It's fucking with me. Can't go right. <clears throat> Light it up. Or don't. Keep it as a weapon, perhaps? If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Hmm. Not sure that anyone did know what was going on, though. <laughs> Hello? Can I click this thing that clearly has something that's clickable? Oh my god, please, please. There we go. Probably not much of a practice with the preach kind of guy. Who is? Definitely just fucking with me. 
Whatever this ghost is, this ghost seems to be more of a scare the shit out of you ghost rather than an actual attack you ghost. Well, some of the others have actually been yeah, like attacking really Cliss and stuff. Door, I? I should. You should. What should I? Is there going to be someone behind yeah, him? I should. There's totally going to be someone behind him. Oh no. <clears throat> the classic. Well, all right. So how do I pry the son of a bitch off? I do not know. Anything useful down the end? Use the candlestick. It's got some half to waste. Enough for the door. Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh fuck. Good thing I drafted in the second finger for that one. Oh my god. Definitely wouldn't have completed that with just the thumb. Oh, it's so creepy. Oh. Oh! Failed it. No, no. Jesus. Oh my goodness. Fuck. I thought it was going to be X again. I'm so dumb. Don't assume. Don't assume. Thankfully, it wasn't a deathly one. It wasn't a deadly mistake. Oh god. Hi. Some of these if you fail a quick time event it's definitely going to just kill you. You know it's going to be like, yeah, you done fucked up. Now you now you're dead. <laughs> go go go. Go go go. How come there was no rain inside that room? If it goes up outside. <laughs> Kick her back down. Push her, push her back down. Ah, oh, this is not gonna end well. Are we far enough out we can dive into the water? Jump! 
when I say jump, I don't mean fucking suicide yourself, like, head first off the edge. I assumed he was going to be jumping into the water. Fuck. He's here. That's so dumb. Why would you? Don't shut up me anymore. That's really stupid. going. <laughs> Flying back doesn't do anything. We've already seen. You can't hurt these things. Which is why I didn't choose confront. I chose jump. Because obviously he's not going to suicide himself when you choose jump. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe he's gone? Oh! 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 I thought he'd oh be... God. Yeah, he, taking he a running leap go. into the sea. But no. He just kills himself. That is so stupid. That's really fucked me off. Stop! <gasps> That's really oh. fucked me off. Because it did not... Like, that's not how you would think jump play would play out. Feels like I just got fucked for no reason. Are we good here? Like, who's gonna choose confront when you've already seen here. that you can't hurt them? And why, if he decides to jump, would he just fall off head first like that? This makes no sense. Don't like that at all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know now's the absolute worst time to say this, but we can't stay here. Don't like that at all. Just give me a minute. Oh, just give me a minute. One minute is all it will take to get over the death of my brother. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Now you're too down when you were doing so well. Oh yeah, because What's-His-Face died as well. And has we anyone haven't... seen Brad? No idea why or how. We didn't have any options And about what that. about Conrad? Took a step into the unknown, I fear. Too bad. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Sure. <laughs> well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. <laughs> I'm not realizing shit. That everything and everyone 
may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Not at all. Well, what the aren't fuck you are you on about? To find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy. Go on, back to it. Speak soon. The way to avoid unnecessary tragedy is to not give me shit prompts that don't do what you expect them to do. The ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? What the fuck happened to my brother? Someone had to have seen him before he... Before... <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up, but he was gone. Gone where? Why? This, this just doesn't add up. We should have never split up. We should have stuck together. This would never have happened. Wait, what? He jumped off the funnel. Or maybe he fell, I don't know, but he was scared. He was terrified. He jumped? He jumped. How would you, how would you know he jumped? Oh my God, I'm gonna be sick. Did you happen to see Brad down there? My uh, brotherly instincts are going pretty crazy right now. There was some kind of fucked up ceremony going on down there. Someone saw me. This one prick in a room, he attacked me. Wait, what? Who attacked you? That's uh, cool. Brad won't have to worry about him. I took care of it. You took care of it? You mean you killed him? I mean I took care of it. The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers. They were bodies. They were dead, but then they came alive and... That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's got to be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Uh... Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. Would have seen it by now. Would we, though? What do you think actually happened to this place? No idea. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. Am I crazy, or are we on a ghost ship? I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? I can't shake the feeling we're in one big floating coffin. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Alex, weather deck. Man, I'm so fucked off about Conrad. <laughs> we gotta get off this damn ship. Yeah. I really don't think that should have happened. Like, if I was in that situation... And I could confront the seemingly unkillable things. I mean, he doesn't know they're unkillable, but they seem... They've got magic powers and shit, so you're probably not going to confront the thing. And we have seen that, like, bullets and shit can't hurt them. So, you just wouldn't confront it. You'd jump. But, 
in trying to get away, he wouldn't just suicide. Like, he just fell, he just let himself tip backwards and thwack his head on the floor. Like, you'd try and leap towards the sea, or if that's too far away, you'd go feet first, maybe break your legs, but not kill yourself. Like, it's infuriating. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking about Conrad now because I've said my piece a couple times. But <laughs> that was dumb as hell, and I'm mad. That being said, the action sequences were very cool. I'm 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 much preferred the action bits with the quick time events and all that and quick sudden choices you have to make to uh, to the very slow walking around checking every room for collectibles Great. kind of thing. Could have used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. That was very frantic and fun. Even if it ended poorly. <laughs> Julia seems to be over it already. Strong family bond. You find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Over here? Can you give me a boost? Hey, a little help over here. Little boosty woosty. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll pull you up. Up we go. Very, very slowly, of course. <laughs> Wait. I could have sworn Fliss was still downstairs. This is... This is where I chased Conrad before. I could have sworn she was behind Julia. Am I... I... I must be going insane now. <laughs> Over here. Got a way through here. <sighs> Draft in the left hand. No luck. Down here. Picture. Excuse me. <laughs> Loose cannon. Is that Junior? Junior kills himself? Fucking yikes. Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Hmm. 
A map showing the origin and destination of the ship. It was sailing from the Republic of China to San Francisco. Let's have a look at the other new ones we've got. Instructing that locks should be fitted to the caskets. No one should have access to them. The caskets contained material classified as military secrets. A map of a water purification plant. Someone has labelled it with various military buildings. This water plant was a cover for the military facility. For the crew to anchor the ship and assist with search and recovery. A member of the crew has jumped overboard. Lifeboat missing. Update the plane must have been flying low to drop the lifeboat when it was shot at. Shell casing found near a gun. The gun's been fired. The gunners on the ship attacked the sea air rescue plane. The B-29 was gunned down from the Orang Medan. Infantry badge on the corpse. US military on board. Dog tag. US military on board. Okay. Uh, ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Search for crew member commence. Search called off. Rip. Hi there, friend. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. <laughs> Mayday call broadcast. Radio contact intermittent. Attempted Morse SOS. Many crew dead. Hmm. Sounds pretty desperate. I die. <laughs> yes, you do. Is this the guy we saw in the opening scene that was tapping out? Do 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 on his little morse no thingy. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> Will you? Professional radio operator that you are? Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Uh, Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. Our coordinates are. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately, uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello. Hello. Is anyone out? What's this bearings? Group discovered, contact, made, contact, gave coordinates. Okay. There. Please come in. And of course it then dies. <laughs> Look at this. Are we gonna jump? <laughs> this has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. You'd rather leave her oh, on well. her own? If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. All right, you and me, Julia. Alex and Julia went down the hole in the radio room. Oh, it's a new one. Fliss encountered a hood figure. She stabbed the figure with a knife and ran away. Oh, hang on. There was another one. The kitchen knife. Escape from the thing that looked like Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
and then she hit her head on the floor and died. Alex, lower deck. 